The city of Marquette is continuing its work to restore a portion of Shoreline. We told you in August about crews beginning construction there, and today TV6's Julia Seitz tells us where crews are at and explains how the project will help protect the shoreline. The city of Marquette is in its final phase of its shoreline restoration project. Construction workers started putting in the new cobble-sized quarry stone. City engineer Mikhail Kilpula says they're installing something more permanent with less maintenance. This revetment is going to absorb wave energy. It's a very a porous medium and, the, and it give a kind of a soft landing to the waves uh, as they hit the, the shoreline to absorb that energy. The city is working with the Superior Watershed Partnership on the project. Superior Watershed Partnership Director Carl Lindquist says decades of severe storms and record high lake levels ate away the shore. Instead of the refrigerator sized boulders that are currently there that block everybody from getting to the water, those will be gone. The National Fish and Wildlife Foundation gave $2.5 million toward the project. Lindquist says in addition to shoreline restoration, the project is also for coastal resilience and restores dunes and wetlands. Even though it's very green when you drive by there now, it is not um, very close to the natural conditions, you know, pre-settlement. He says the Keweenaw Bay Indian community recommended native plant species. When this revetment is finished, sand will fill in the sides, creating easy access to some beautiful views. A space for, you know, the, the public to, to exist in, to walk in, uh, to view the lake. Um, and it, it'll look a lot better than the, the old uh, rubble revetment. Kilpala says the project will be done by the end of next year. Julia Seitz, TV6 News, Marquette.